Our unemployment rate now in the two counties are 3% and 4%, which means there's not a whole lot of um, people out there beating on the doors that have these skills. What I'm hearing from industry right now is that they have, you know, exhausted all the potential candidates or potential employees. And so I thought, you know, these high school students need an opportunity too. As a high school principal, for several years was wanting something like this. When you can get them in the workforce faster, like this program, it's win-win for everybody. We've always had work-based learning opportunities for our kids, but those work-based learning opportunities in our co-op program with Fort Payne City School System, most of the time they're working fast food and things like that. Now those, those things are fine and good and they're needed and they learn some values that they need going forward, but they were not getting the training that's being provided here. Uh, they're not guaranteed all the credentials that these two will be getting. So they'll get the OSHA 10-hour certification, all of the MSSC. In this area, they'll get the ACDC and digital. By the age of 22, they're going to be at journeyman level and have a journeyman card because these apprenticeship programs are USDOL registered certified apprenticeship programs. For many students, this is a tremendous opportunity to where they can go make a, a sustainable wage in a high demand, um, high wage profession. The companies are committed to pay their tuition and books. They're getting paid to work 30 to 32 hours a week uh, in the facility with RTI, and they're in class like eight to 10 hours a week. They're also able to go to school, finish their high school degree and diploma in their high school classes, at the same time take college classes and get the two-year degree. So these programs are gonna highly skill and train potential employees to come in, and we're gonna fill that pipeline for industry. Um, to fill these positions so that these industries can grow. 